In today's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use a set to create a relative date filter. But first, let me show you an explanation of what I'm talking about. In Tableau, we can look at a set of dates. So for example, let's look at this order date field. And we can see if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, my date ends, uh, my last date is December 31st, 2013. So if my users want to have a relative date filter, let's see, I do a relative date filter, and let's say I want them to be able to look at the last 30 days. The problem here is that it goes blank. That's because Tableau is using, uh, the, it's anchoring the date relative to whatever today is. So if I, uh, to get around that, what I can do is I can create a set based on my order date. So if I right click on order date and I choose create set, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this set my, uh, let's call this my relative dates. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose use all in, under my general option. And then I'm gonna click on the top tab and I'm gonna say, I wanna choose my top um, whatever from order date and my aggregation is gonna be the maximum. But here, instead of um, using the top 10, well, let's go ahead and start it like that. Let's go ahead and use the top 10. And let's drag this relative date filter to, uh, the, uh, to the filter shelf. And you can see that we get our last 10 dates. That's awesome, I can see I've got 10 rows. But what would be even better would be if I could make that um, something the user could pick. How many days do they wanna see? So I'm gonna go back to my uh, I'm going to edit my set, and instead of choosing my top 10, I'm going to go ahead and create a parameter. And I'm going to call this uh, last n days. And I'll go ahead and leave the default to 10, and let's say we're going to give them a range of 1 to maybe 365 days. So in other words, we're going to allow them to pick up to a year in the date range. You can make that any number you want. And then I'm going to hit OK, and hit OK again and you see my parameter all automatically shows up. And now, when I scroll over, you can see I get my however many days, and it matches my 61 here, matches with my number of rows. That's perfect, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I can now throw my columns, or my order date on the column shelf, maybe put sales in my rows, and change this to continuous. And now, as I scroll through this, you can see I'm getting the correct number of days. That's awesome, that's exactly what I wanted to do. So now I've gone ahead and pre-built a dashboard that has my sales trend, uh, my sales and profit by city, and then just a breakdown of sales by department and order priority. <clears throat> now what I wanna do is, I wanna go ahead and apply that uh, filter across the entire dashboard. So I'm gonna go back over here to my sheet that I was playing with. I'm gonna make this filter, uh, I'm gonna change it to an in and out. So let's just make it in the set. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make this, apply it to all using the data source. Okay, so now I can go over here to my sales training. You see it's now uh, that, that same filter is applied to this, this worksheet. If I go to my dashboard now, I can go ahead and choose one of these sheets and I can say, go ahead and uh, show my last end days parameter. And now I'm gonna go ahead and stick this up here next to my dashboard. Maybe move it to the right a little bit here. There we go, that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll go ahead and left justify this now. Maybe make it a little bit bigger since I need to kind of fill the space up a little bit. And now I can uh, allow my users to go ahead and pick the number of days they want. They can even type a number in if they want. Oops, sorry, wrong thing there. Um, I can go ahead and allow them to pick, uh, let's see, 30. Maybe I want to change this to be uh, maybe a type in. You can do lots of different things that you want. That, that you want. So. Um, that's the really simple way to create to use a set to act like a relative date a relative day filter in Tableau um, without uh, this is particularly useful when your data is not as of the latest date or as of today so if you have data most of us have data that is a couple of days old by the time it gets into our dashboards or maybe a day old and this this type of workaround will work uh, very effectively for you in that case so uh, there will be a link to the blog post in the video and feel free to leave me any feedback. Thank you very much.